everybody, welcome back to my channel. It has been about four million years since my last video, but I am squeezing in some time to bag out some content for you all because I have been so busy with baby and just enjoying being a mom that it is really hard to squeeze time in when you don't have a babysitter or family nearby. Um, so please bear with me. I know I said this last time, but it's just the realities. Part of it is um, just the you know honesty of having a new baby at home. She's four months old as of this month, but. The other half is, yeah, I am being a little selfish and enjoying my time with her now. So with that being said, we will have a new normal soon. Her naps are much more consistent and so is her sleep at night. We're getting there. So I wanted to sit down and update you on my 2018 Project Pan empties. Um, I know this is March. I think it's March 1st now when I'm recording this. So I do want to be completely honest with you guys that the stuff has been sitting here since the end of January. Um, whether it's finished or not, I've kind of just held it in my makeup vanity and haven't used it and haven't shot this video. So um, there are some things that are completely finished and there's some things that are not and I've been anxious to continue using them to add them to my 2019 empties or project pan. So let's get into where we finished 2018 with what I had um, intended on finishing. So. Um, let me take a peek at my list of items from my midpoint video back in, I think I filmed it in June. Yes, on June 26th. Uh, I'll link it somewhere here so you can watch where we were. So, uh, the first, what the heck, where is it? Okay, the first video is the IT Cosmetics CC Cream in Medium Tan. This is done. Um, I know it for some reason it like the air blew up and it looks like it's not done, but it is empty, empty, empty. In fact, I actually bought a second one of these already and I've been using it. So um, I'm so glad I finished this. I finished a few of these in my makeup lifetime. Uh, as much as there's other foundations and CC creams and BB creams on the market, I do tend to go back to this one. Um, I use this religiously in the hospital after I had Savannah and for the months after from October through January like this was my go-to because it's easy and you, I didn't need anything extra it was you know my foundation my sunscreen and my moisturizer so the hype is real on this it's worth it like I said I bought another uh, the next product is the Misha perfect cover BB cream very similar product look at this like it is it's not done I won't lie there's maybe one or two uses but it is so so like down to nothing. I don't even know if you could tell. It's literally translucent. Like the tube is so empty. There's only a couple bits left, maybe one or two days. So I'm honestly going to categorize this as done. I'll be done with it this weekend. It's literally like, what's the word? Scrunching down on the pump itself. Like it's the little hard piece here. So there's nothing left. I will say this tube really did a good job of getting the last bits out versus the It Cosmetics one. And these products so similar. I've talked about the Bisha before being a cheaper dupe for the It Cosmetics. If you can find a good shade for this, because I know the um, colors they offer it, offer are a bit hit and miss. Let me just make sure I'm still recording. Yes. Um, so these two very similar. When I ran out of the this one, I did start using this one. And like I said, I have a couple days left of this, but I've been holding on to it since friggin' January. So now I can finish it this weekend. But like I said, I'm considering it done for all intents and purposes. Okay, next on my list is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in W6. This is not done, but it is down to here on the bottle. Like, I can see where the product is finished. Um, so the problem with this particular shade is, this is my summer shade. So I was only really able to use this for like half of the year. And that didn't leave me much time to really make a dent in a foundation, uh, especially one of this color. It's definitely my tan shade. I have W5, and I, I should have added it to my empties for this upcoming year, but I hadn't. Whatever. Um, but this is a great foundation if you haven't tried it yet. Perfect for normal skin, medium to full coverage, in my opinion, with a natural finish, and it has sunscreen in it. So um, I didn't finish this one, but I got so, so close. So... I guess I can add it to the 2019 empty uh, project pan, but it's gonna be rough because I have to wait till the summer to, to use it, which I guess is around the corner. Okay, next is, okay, Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. 
this is done. Like literally, I know it looks like there's um, some here, but you can't, like there was nothing coming out when I was twisting it anymore. So uh, I'm so happy to be finished with this. I will repurchase this one. I just have so many concealers right now. I really gotta get through some of them um, in me in 2019, but I would definitely repurchase this if you are looking for a great drugstore concealer, particularly for your under eyes. Everybody raves about this for a reason. And they did redo the shade range and they expanded it. So this was actually in shade medium. I don't even think they make medium anymore. I want to say it's maybe called sand now. I'm not sure. Uh, but a great concealer. Next one is the Tarte Creamy Confidence Powder Foundation in Light Medium Neutral. Right here we got this baby. This is done. Uh, I know you can see like, you know, you have that rim here. Any brush can't seriously get that out. Like I would have to literally crack it all up and then like, that's just messy and I'm a new mom and I don't have time for that nonsense. So for me, this is done and I really like this powder. I go through powders really quickly. So um, they're kind of a dime a dozen for me as long as it has a little bit of coverage and doesn't add any, um, like doesn't dry me out or add moisture. Like it's just a basic, powder foundation, that's what I tend to go towards, and the Tarte Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation was great, and I think I had gotten this on sale, so even better. Next is the Glow Minerals, or Glow Beauty now they're known as, a uh, pressed powder, another powder, in Honey Light. Um, this one, I hear my baby's crying, she's with her daddy downstairs. Um, done, as far as I'm concerned as well, and I actually have another one of these that's going to be in my um, 2019 project pan. Same color and everything. I actually even have this in a deeper shade for summer too. Really love this mineral foundation because it's a mineral foundation that's pressed. I love mineral powder foundations like Bare Minerals and things and Laura Mercier. I love those and I do use them, but if it could be in a pressed formula, I like that even better. It's more space efficient and it's easier to apply in my opinion. So. Um, if you haven't tried the Glow Skin Beauty Mineral Press Base, it's really good. And if you like mineral makeup. Okay, banging through these. Next one is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in the regular medium. Sh I hope we got that on camera. Oh, man. Okay. Well, it's done, but it literally had pieces it's all over my makeup desk, which is white. So annoying, man. Okay, well, there's like four little crumbs here and now it's gonna get all over my clothes. So awesome, real excited to do laundry now. Um, okay, <laughs> I don't know, let me get, I don't have my monitor up. I'm like a hot mess right now. Okay, so there we go. That was all that was left. Again, one of those things that it was all on the rim and I just got tired of swirling and swirling and swirling and getting not even application. So, um, another one. This is one of my Holy Grail bronzers. I talk about this all the time as a recommended bronzer. Um, I'm not going to repurchase this because, right now because I have 400 bronzers to go through. It's unbelievable how many bronzers I end up owning. So, great bronzer, matte bronzer, natural color, just a hint of warmth to look like a real tan. Really love it. All right, next product, uh, the Benefit Hula Bronzer. Another one we finished, finally. I've had this a embarrassing amount of time, I'm not gonna lie. Like this should not have even been usable anymore, but I was using it. Um, so this is another one. There's some on the very, very ends there. You can see it. But guys, like, who's really, I, if you have nothing else to do with your day and you have time to really scrape, 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 good for you, but no, this to me is done, plus it was so old. Um, but I have to say, this is an impressive, Pan. Like it is a thick pan of metal that you're getting a lot of product, which is probably why it took me so long to finish it. Um, but I love this bronzer when I'm more fair. So my winter and fall bronzer, this is ideal. It's a little cooler toned than the Too Faced one. It's great to contour and bronze with. Like you can use it to chisel out your cheeks and it will look like orange um, or like contour your nose and it will look orange. It's really, really good. Um, blah, 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 blah. The one con obviously is this box packaging. I know it's like benefits thing, but like I would love it if they made these a little flatter. Like why does it have to be this boxy? It doesn't fit in any of my makeup drawers. Like they could still have a box powder. Can you just make it wider and flatter? That would be my one suggestion. And I actually really would repurchase this. I have two little mini trial sizes of it now. So I'm gonna continue to enjoy those, but 
Um, when I run out, I would definitely buy the Hoola bronzer again. I might even buy the Hoola bronzer over the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil because I just find it more versatile. Okay, next is the By Terry Savannah Love Palette. How funny, it's Savannah Love. That's my baby's name, Savannah. Uh, this I did, oh my God, I could have that. This I did not finish. Um, I got, I got so close, like the bronzer shot side, I honestly like, it got, it's to the point where I couldn't really get a great um, color of bronze when I mix it together because it just, it, this shade is obviously nearly gone. The brown, yeah, I've got some there, but it was hard to get your brush in there and honestly get a good bronze color. But the biggest thing is another product that is better for me in the summer and spring months when I'm more tan. Uh, this, I was just strictly using this most of the time for the blush to get through it, but this is another product that I can finish it up in the summer. It's just kind of annoying now because the pans are so unevenly used and that's for no reason. Like I literally, you know, swirl my brush over the whole thing. So there's no reason it wore down like this. It's kind of odd. Um, but I really love the colors, it's a shame. So uh, this is one of my favorite palettes. I want to say this might have even been in my 2017 beauty favorites. It's a beautiful product. It's just, it's at the point now where I'm like, what do I do? I, this is the con when you have one of these multi-purpose palettes that doesn't wear down easily. But, you know, whatever. We'll hold on to it for, when, uh, for summer and I'll try to get through it this year. Next on the list is the Becca Highlighter in Opal. This one, let's make sure it's not cracked. Okay, done. I finished a highlighter. This is amazing. First of all, this, no, it's not my first highlighter. This was my second highlighter I ever bought. The first one was um, Mary Luminizer, and I actually have that in my makeup pro kit now because I used it like literally three times and then moved on to this one for because it's better for my skin tone. I can't speak. Um, so finished this and I actually have been working behind the scenes, like working on this behind the scenes. I have been finishing the um, Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. That was similar in like how much I had finished of this one and I can't believe I'm almost done with it. So Becca highlighters are pretty, but if you use highlighter every day and you use the same one, this kind of ran out fast as far as I was concerned. The powder is very soft, so that's probably why. Um, but I don't think I would purchase Becca highlighters simply because it runs out fast. And I don't know if it's just me, but like it looks pretty when I first put it on my skin, but it seemed to disappear throughout the day very quickly. Only with my Becca highlighters do I find that. So if you have that problem, please let me know. I'd like to know if maybe it's just me. I don't know. Okay. Next is the Charlotte Tilbury Golden Goddess Eyeshadow Quad. Um, couldn't finish this. It's so hard to finish eyeshadow. Oh my god. This is what happens when you become a mom. You don't remember words. Okay. It's really hard to finish eyeshadows, guys. I mean, you only use so much of it. So, but I feel like I did a decent job. I don't remember where I started. I'll have to look back on the footage when I am editing this. But... I tried really hard to finish this. Now, I don't ever think I'd finish the glitter of her glitter um, shade in any of her palettes, but the other shades, I feel like I did a good job. They all have a decent pan on them. It's just tough. Like, I use this every day religiously, but when you're testing eyeshadow all the time, like you're getting palettes in the mail from PR, you're buying palettes, you're trying eyeshadows. I'm always trying to find eyeshadows that are really beautiful. Eye makeup is one of my favorite things, but um, you just don't use a lot of it. So I don't know. Um, of course, I do love this quad, so I'm going to continue to use it through 2019. Hopefully we can use it up soon because when I do get tan, this is another one of those products that when I get too tan in the summer, um, the colors don't really show up against my skin tone. So, you know, I got to really make a dent in it now while I can. All right, next is the Marc Jacobs Gloss in Pretty Thing. Unfortunately, I could not get through this. Like, I, I can't even tell you where it is. I mean, I can see kind of. It's just at the very bottom. But here's the problem with most lip products for me. I apply them once in the morning, and before I had Savannah, I worked from home. Now that I have Savannah, I still am home, like, doing some odds and ends for work, but, like, I'm not formally back at work yet, but regardless, 
since I don't really go to an office to work, like I don't reapply my lip color unless I'm going out. And even then, like I'm not reapplying my lip color to run to Target, surprisingly. Like I just don't. Um, I put it on in the morning and that's it. So it's difficult for me to finish a lip product because of that. So again, I don't know. This is really old now. Like I don't think I'm going to even put it in the um, 2019 portion of this so I think I'm just gonna have to throw it out I mean it's a beautiful color it's so right up my alley the one con about these is they're not very long lasting it's not a very thick or sticky gloss which is really nice in one aspect but the con about that is it won't last as long so my dog just decided to enter um so I'm just gonna get rid of this but for what it's worth beautiful color pretty thing it's a beautiful peachy pinky nude all right um, next is Charlotte Tilbury's lipstick in Be Perfect. I'm saying B because it's a curse word and I don't know if YouTube will like mess up my channel if I say the real word, but anyway, um, this is Be Perfect. It's my first Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. It is one that I've raved about on my blog. I wear it a lot in YouTube videos. Um, and I would buy another one of these in a heartbeat. I think I did a good job of using this one up too. Um, I'll obviously have to look back at footage, but like that's all I have left. Um, this one, again, it's I did a good job, but it's hard. I don't really reapply my lipstick that often. So I'm thinking of actually putting this in my purse to use like when I'm out um, to kind of encourage me to apply lipstick when I'm out more often, just because it is a great swipe it on and don't even look in the mirror kind of shade. I've done this before in videos, but just to show you guys, it's stunning. It's like a perfect peachy nude. I use this on so many brides. Like, it's one of my, if not the most all-time favorite lip color of my makeup. So, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I might put it in my purse. So, but then I can't use it when I get ready in the morning. So, I might have to buy another one. And maybe put this one in my purse, but buy another one to use in the morning. I love it that much. Okay. Uh, let me get a tissue. Ooh. I'm making a absolute mess in here trying to get this done ASAP. Okay, uh, two more things. How do I have two more things? I thought I had one more thing here. I have one more item here. I don't know how this ended up here. Why did I put this here? Oh well, I'll get to that in a second. All right, yeah, I have two more, two more things after the things I thought I was done with. Anyway, on my list. Okay, these Pixie setting sprays. I talked about this in the midpoint video, how I was like, Eh, about them because one like spits like a candle in your face and the other one is just really glowy and not like good against my skin um, So I did opt to just stop using these entirely and I'm just gonna throw them out um, The makeup fixing mist it does have alcohol in it. It does work, but it's the one that spits at me So like I don't want a like big shotgun of alcohol to my eyeball. So No for this gonna throw it out and then the glow mist. This is good if you are very very dry, which I am not. I don't even know how I got through this much of it. Um, it legit has, I think, argan oil in it. Um, yeah. So it is just really heavy on my skin. I do not need it. Even at my driest, it's just too oily. So if you're dry, check this out. It would be great, but not for me. So we're just going to get rid of that. So just for what it's worth, I don't know how these ended up in my collection, um, but I have these two. I have a lip liner and a foundation that I guess they're just empties. I think I just might have thrown them in here as empties, which is stupid because I definitely have finished other things that I've thrown out without regard. So for whatever it's worth, if it makes you feel better or maybe it'll make me feel better, I don't know. Um, I did finish this Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I've had this for a hot minute. Um, I really like this foundation in theory for its formula and the coverage level, but I did find it doesn't very last very long on the skin. It does break down a little bit. So I would not repurchase this one. Um, and... I'm nearly done. I could be done with this like probably this week. The Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Pencil. Like this is what we got here. I can barely fit it in a sharpener to sharpen it when I do that. So um, I already have a backup of these. Charlotte Tilbury lip liners are my favorite. I feel like they last the longest and they have a beautiful um, like color range for whatever lip color you're ordering. So that I'm including, but it wasn't in the original, so I hope that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna wrap up this empties and I want to film right away the um, 2019 empties. I'm gonna be wearing the same outfit and everything, so don't judge me. I just don't want to put like one 
long, long, long ass video of empties and stuff for next year. So it's already 20 minutes. I don't know how much longer I needed this to be. And I will catch you in the next video very shortly. See you later.